G'day, John for the Hot End again. Today we're doing a review on the all Australian made BPS V3 extruder hot end assembly. This is my boomstick! Is the BPS V3 extruder hot end nozzle assembly. This extruder is manufactured completely in Australia. In my opinion, the best extruder I have ever used. I've been using one of these now on my Wombot for uh, at least a month. Most of the prints that you have seen recently in the hot end, uh, in other reviews, have been printed using one of these extruders. Now, a couple of things about it. It is made from one solid piece of aluminium block and then precision machined so that you have the whole thing in one piece. It has an inlet for a PTFE tube and the thing that I really, really like about this extruder is that it is PTFE tubed from end to end. The filament feeds in through the top through a piece of PTFE tubing goes down to the drive gear <coughs> where there is just a small cutout in the PTFE tubing. Then the tubing continues right down through the throat to the top of the nozzle. Now that's important and I'll tell you why in a second. There are a couple of other major things you need to know about this extruder. This extruder comes with some other parts with it. It comes with three stainless steel nozzles, a 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0.5. Now the beauty of these nozzles is that they are also straight up compatible with an E3D V6. So if you already have one of those or you're considering one, you can do direct swaps with the nozzles. It also comes with a full metal throat that you can use in place of the PTFE lined throat in case you need to print at high temperatures. Some things need to be printed at 250, 260 plus, uh, at which point the PTFE breaks down, of course. So it comes with an all metal throat that you can interchange. Also in the box, you'll find that there is spare PTFE tubing for replacement. I haven't had to use any of the spare parts because mine's still going like a charm. You'll also note that because of the design and the machining of the solid block of aluminium, you don't need an additional heat sink. You can just bolt your fan straight to the extruder, saves that little bit of weight of the heat sink, saves on overall size of the extruder when it's uh, mounted to your X carriage. Now, the main benefit of this extruder is that if you have ever tried to print flexible filament, it's a pain. There are other extruders out there that are made specifically for flexible filament. They are much more expensive than this one. Bill, uh, and you may be wondering what BPS stands for, Bill is uh, the guy that runs this place and the BPS is Bill's Prototype Studio. Now you can pick this up uh, from his website for around $106 US thereabouts uh, plus shipping which is as I say much cheaper than anything else you'll find on the market that will do flexible filament like this little puppy does. It's claimed that this will print flexible filament at up to 200 millimeters per second. I haven't tried that however I have put TPE flexible filament through mine I had it printing at 66 millimeters per second and it printed like PLA. It was absolutely brilliant. No other changes to my printer except for the temperature of course. Printed at 66 millimeters per second smoothly, no clogs, no jams, no filament poking out the sides and all those other problems that we have when trying to print flex. Anthony at the hot end has printed at 100 millimeters per second with this extruder with flexible filament. 
and again, no problem. I have some print examples right here. This was printed at 100 millimeters per second. It's not up to my standard, but it's pretty good for flexible filament, as you can see. He's had a bit of layer separation here, the poor deer, but that's from Anthony's kids playing with it because it's nice and soft. The print that I did was this one, which you have probably seen as a time lapse in the background. This printed at 66 millimeters per second. It is squishy, flexible, um, smooth, no gaps, uh, no dobs, no globs, absolutely perfect. Uh, I, I was amazed at how well this thing printed flexible filament. Now, unlike some other flexible filament extruders, this one also prints normal or PLA, ABS, PETG, anything you want, it will print. This is one that Anthony did. It's in PETG. This was printed at a 0.3 layer height. Uh, knowing Anthony, it was printed very fast because uh, everything he does is fast. Where was I? I have nothing but praise for this uh, setup. And remember, it comes with stainless steel hardened nozzles. So that means you can print exotics like a carbon fiber, uh, wood fill, all those things that supposedly tear the insides out of your nozzles. You can print them straight up, straight out of the box without any worries or concerns that you're going to damage the nozzle. Now, again, as always, the extruders from BPS were supplied to the hot end free of charge for our review. We give an impartial opinion of anything that is sent to the hot end. And it's just fortunate that I think this thing is brilliant. So uh, go on out there and, and support Bill at BPS because it's, you'll never regret it. Now, there is a discount code via the hot end, which I think is the hot end, where you get a 5% discount through BPS. Um, the hot end, Anthony and myself do not receive any kickbacks, commissions, gratuities or anything else through that discount code. That is purely for you, the consumer, to get 5% off. We receive nothing from Bill as far as payment for any comment that we make and our opinions are our own. As always, we give an honest opinion of products that are sent to the hot end uh, and it's just great that this thing is, is brilliant and I would recommend it even if I had to pay for it. It's fantastic. One last thing before I go, I just want to put in a plug for this stuff. This is, um, I'm not sure what the technical name for it is. It's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's called Zebra Plate or Zebra Skin. It's a proprietary product. This stuff is available from their website, which is printinz.com, all one word. And uh, this is the stuff that I've been printing on for the last 12 months. I've tried a lot of the other things, uh, but I find that this is by far the best. I can, I can get anything to stick to this at much lower bed temperatures. When I was using the BPS extruder and printing the TPE flexible filament, I was using this stuff uh, and I had no problem with lifting, warping. It stuck like shit to a blanket and it's great stuff. Now we at the hot end are not affiliated with this company in any way. We do not get supplied this stuff. We pay full retail price via their website for this because it's that good. Um, hopefully they might see this and chuck me a free sample or two, but this stuff far, far exceeds anything else that I've used, like blue tape, Kapton tape, PEI films, um, glue, hairspray, you name it, this stuff kills it. Okay, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.